I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! This song is about where we are right now. The world's longest running comedy music concert series is back. Having a good MarsCon? <laughs> Fantastic. MarsCon 2024 is taking place March 8th through 10th at the Hilton Minneapolis St. Paul Mall of America Hotel in Bloomington, Minnesota. Oh, I just did the thing where I ad lived so long that it got awkward. Have fun and get wasted. Tell me more. This year's event will have performances by The Great Luke Ski, TV's Kyle and Linzilla, Insane Ian, Power Sally. Meow Me, Nuclear Bubble Wrap, Holy Bong Water, Scooter Picnic, Jake Dewar, and this year's comedy music guest of honor, Cartoon Network legend Andy Merrill, the comedian behind the demented sensation that is Brack. I like hubcaps, I like laundry, I like waffles, I like ant farms, I like reset, picnic, and eating pork and beans. Registration for a weekend badge is $70. To pre-register and for more info on MarsCon, visit MarsCon.org. Moisture, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> I'm going to write my mom tonight. What did you do today, Bonnie? I drank water. Everyone screamed moisture at me. It was great. It's a, it's a bit. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to the new ERB. King Kong vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. King Kong from Epic Rap Battles of History. Uh, this is the second video to go up this week because a lot of stuff came out last week and I'm trying to get through it all and figured both of these songs, the one I did yesterday and the one I'm doing today, uh, were kind of big and important and wanted to get these out as quickly as possible. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the video Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not laughing over the jokes or talking over them and missing them. I'm giving analysis and talking about how the work, uh, the, the video and the lyrics work in tandem to help enhance the jokes. The lyrics are where the jokes are, after all. And sometimes I'm talking about how not only do they work together, but sometimes I'm even explaining the jokes, because that's always fun for people. And sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in to Godzilla vs. King Kong from Epic Rap Battles of History. Uh, this one was teased at the end of their last video, and uh, from what I understand, this is done with uh, motion capture suits on the rappers, which I believe are Lloyd and Peter um, in mocap suits playing King Kong and Godzilla, possibly tied into the Kong and Godzilla new movie, New Empire, or whatever it's called, coming out. Kong and Godzilla New Empire, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, there's a lot of empires happening in movies coming up. Anyway, let's dive in. <laughs> okay, already uh, referencing a lot of the uh, the previous um, uh, Godzilla movies, Rolling with Rodan and Mothra, and that's happened with both the original Godzilla movies as well as the, the current uh, monster versions that is going on in the American versions, all tied with Monarch, which has even got a TV series now. Um, this Kong gets conquered... Kong curd. It's a good bar. For a social primate, is that what you call that kind of ape, although not that large, a social primate, but social, kind of lonely for a social primate. All right, I dig it. Not super strong yet, but I get it. <laughs> okay, that's going back to the 
classic King Kong stuff, not the Kong Island stuff that's tied in with the MonsterVerse, but the original King Kong, Fay Ray, or, you know, any of the other adaptations, um, when Kong would pick up the damsel and, you know, the beauty that kills the beast, um, uh, you know, it's the, the damsel and she's screaming and you're he sniffs the hand with the... Yeah, it, you know the reference. It, everybody's seen the giant hand carrying the girl. But that next line, a simpanzee. That's good, because your only friend is the damsel. You're simping over them. Simpanzee, instead of a chimpanzee, which is a type of monkey. Primate apes, things, yeah. The, uh, I will say the mocap doesn't seem to translate the weight of Godzilla very well. The legs are kicking up really fast, and it doesn't quite seem like Godzilla, being as large as he is, has the proper weight to him, which is something you're going to run into doing a mocap for a large beast like that. You're not really translating the what would be the actuality of a creature that size. Um... But uh, a lizard of thunder, the thunder lizard, that's what they, you know, call dinosaurs, but that's also what they call Godzilla. Um, uh, you know, Godzilla being created by nuclear weapons. Um, so, yes, let's take it back a little here. When I'm crushing on a girl simping on them, it means the foot she comes under, meaning I'm actually crushing her by stomping on her. Whoops. Ooh, something stuck to my foot. <laughs> Getting chained up and roofied on some goofy berry juice. In the original, they poisoned the berries. Well, not, they drugged the berries so that Kong would fall asleep and they could take him to uh, the United States to, to put on display, being chained up, broke from the chains. If you've seen the original King Kong, or at least the Peter Jackson remake, or maybe the remake from, like, the 70s, um, that happens in all three of them. It does not happen in the MonsterVerse versions, but yes. Uh, and even the original uh, Japanese uh, Godzilla movies had a Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Um... And, you know, this is just kind of the, the MonsterVerse, the current American versions, are kind of like, not really remaking those, but re-exploring them. I, I know I just paused it and then paused it. I eat up a whole city like Tokyo Play. Yo Play is yogurt. It's a yogurt brand. Tokyo is a city where Godzilla usually hits. So Tokyo Play is a portmanteau of Tokyo and Yo Play. I talked about portmanteaus in the previous video. Um, but yeah, that's that's a good bar. That's that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. I like that. Getting spoon-fed, like, here comes the airplane, like when you're feeding a baby. Here comes the plane, open wide, yeah, what you had to do with kids. Um, but also, getting spoon-fed hot lead, bullets, like here comes the airplane, uh, historically, in all three of the original Kong movies, um, the, the original and the remakes, Kong climbs to the top of the um, Empire State Building and is shot down up there, um, so, from airplanes. So, spoon-fed hot lead, like here comes the airplane, the airplanes are what shoot him down. And yes. Ah. That's a hard bar. That is the hardest bar we've heard so far. How did dropping off the Empire feel? You're like Jesse Smollett, except this beatdown is real. <sighs> For those who may not remember, Jesse Smollett uh, was an actor on a TV show called Empire, which aired on Fox. The show took place in New York. However, it filmed here in Chicago. I know this because I was an extra on an episode, actually the last episode of the series, um, after Jussie left. 
uh, Jesse Smollett uh, claimed that he was beat up on the streets of Chicago um, and, you know, made these wild claims, and it turns out these claims were 100% false and was let go of the show and all this... It was a lot of bullshit and weirdness. Um, so that's what that bar is referencing. That's amazing. You know, saying, this beatdown I'm giving you in this song is real. You're like Jesse Smollett, except this beatdown's real. Jesse's wasn't. Um, that's a great bar. That's an incredible bar. I really dig that. Ooh. Uh, got this battle covered like a bento lid. Bento boxes, you know, have lids because they're boxes and they have food inside and you don't want the food to come out and it's got a lid on it. Um, I'll make an ass out of you like Nintendo did. So Nintendo made Donkey Kong. Yes, Nintendo made Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong clearly inspired by uh, King Kong at, to the point where uh, King Kong's owners, uh, the, the film companies, tried to sue Nintendo for uh, copyright infringement or likeness or something like that. Uh, and Nintendo uh, was like, no, it's just a general ape. Just the Kong is a, is a type of ape. And, uh, you know, uh, they weaseled their way out of it and, and ended up not having to, to pay. Uh, from what I understand, anyway, I could be misremembering this, but that's, you know, the, the rough kind of bare-bones version of it. Um, but yes, uh, they were uh, they, they tried to sue them, and it wasn't su successful. That's basically the, the gist of it. Okay, right from the jump. <laughs> When Kong comes in, the only game I play is Rampage Lizzie. So, Rampage, a uh, classic arcade game from the mid-80s of giant uh, kaiju-like monsters who are destroying a city in every level by Midway. They made a movie about Rampage as well. Um, so it's uh, George the Ape, Lizzie the Lizard, and... Um, I forget the name of the wolf, but that's those are the three characters that you can choose from in the original Rampage. They added tons more in all the sequels, but uh, calling Godzilla Lizzie the Lizard from Rampage, that's good. That's good stuff. And Rampage was eventually ported to Nintendo. It was on a bunch of things. It was on Sega Master System and everything else, but it was, you know, it, it got released on Nintendo as well. The NES, I mean. It's beauty kills this beast and you just ain't pretty. Saying your bars aren't pretty, so you have no beauty. So you can't kill this beast with your lame-ass bars. There's, there's no beauty to them. They ain't pretty. Because, twas beauty killed the beast is the famous line from the end of the original King Kong and the Peter Jackson remake. I don't know if it was in the 70s version. I haven't seen that one, honestly. Um, but yes, that is that usually the, the last line in the movie is, you know, it wasn't man, twas beauty killed the beast. Um, because, you know, he was so enraptured with uh, the female character whose name escapes me right now. Um, but because he was so involved in her and trying to protect her and, and care for her, paid no attention to the things that were, you know, trying to bring him down, and that's truly what brought him down. What his downfall was, was the woman. <laughs> okay, that's more of a T-Rex joke, but it's true. Godzilla's arms aren't as long. Uh, punch lines, meaning literal meaning, uh, throwing a punch for punch lines. Godzilla's not, you know, swinging on Kong. Kong's got a longer wingspan on him, a longer reach literal punch lines. Uh, you can't have punch lines, you don't even have arms. <laughs> Talking about the uh, the monster verse uh versus <laughs> called them cankles. Oh <laughs> 
That's an old school insult. Uh, saying cankles is for somebody who may be overweight. Cankles are where you can't tell where the calf ends and the ankle begins. Godzilla, kind of beefy. A lot of people, uh, even when the first uh, Godzilla movie, U.S. Godzilla movie came out as part of the MonsterVerse. I say the first, but the first of that universe anyway. The current movie film universe, the MonsterVerse. They called him Fat Godzilla because it seemed a little beefier, a little chunkier than uh, than uh, most of the other filmic Godzillas. Um, the less said about the one from the 90s, the better. Um, <laughs> that was another U.S. one that was weirdly received. Um, it looked more like Jurassic Park than Godzilla stuff. Um, but yeah, um, that's good stuff. I dig that. It's the Frankenstein, first time you made a movie. And I don't tell you like Barkley, the base of our Fuji. Makes facts, tangles, you can't fill since yourself. So they bring a mammal in to nurse your films back to They bring a mammal in to nurse your films back to health. Uh, yeah, the, it started with Godzilla. And then it went to Kong Skull Island, which did way better than the Godzilla movie did. Um, and then it, it went to uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. And then Godzilla v. Kong. Um, so, yeah, trying to bring Kong in to... to you, you see at the box office and, and critical reception to those movies. Um, they, they fluctuate. They're doing really well, though. I enjoy them. I know a lot of Godzilla purists don't seem to enjoy them as much, or at all, uh, depending on which ones you talk to, but I like them. Um, but uh, then again, I'm also not a Godzilla purist. <laughs> okay, Rep and RKO. Um, the original Godzilla movie was an RKO picture. Um, and we don't love them Toho's. Toho is the company that owns Godzilla. We don't love them. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm as old as Death Row. Technically not... He's, he's, you know, don't quote Snoop to me, I'm as old as Death Row. Snoop originally was released on Death Row Records. Could mean that, but obviously meaning Death Row in general. RKO Pictures, the Godzilla movie, came out in the 1930s. Death Row, the death penalty, kind of a 1930s thing. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, RKO Pictures, Toho, all that, that I just said. Eighth Wonder of the World, that's what they call Kong in the movie. Wonder of the world and the world when I ride. If you think you're mine, pack up with mine. <laughs> Didn't even rap that bar, just, uh, did the ASL for Here's Your Sign, uh, as in sign language. Yeah. Just like your bad English captions, your words don't match your actions. Uh, I think this is I think this is Lloyd as Kong, uh, and I think it's Peter as Godzilla. So uh, I, I'm liking Kong's bars here a little bit more. Although, you know, the few that I pointed out, Godzilla did have some good bars in the first verse. It took a while to get there, but yeah. <laughs> you aren't even the bombest monster from the CG. Uh, G could mean gangsta, but obviously means Godzilla. And what's cracking? C R A C K I N apostrophe, as in what's cracking, what's happening? Uh, not cracking. Nobody ever said that, except ridiculous white guys. But what's cracking? Means what's happening, what's going on. Also, what's Kraken, the way they spelled it, K-R-A-K-E-N. The Kraken is a beast from the sea in, you know, movies and various things. Obviously, you've seen them in the Pirates of the Caribbean things. The Kraken is a giant tentacled thing. You aren't even the meanest beast. The Kraken is. You both come from the sea, but the Kraken's... You get it. It's a dig. <laughs> Kong acting as though he's from King Kong instead of Japan, the land of cold fish and rice. The rising cold fish and rice um, instead of the rising sun. Alright, sure. Ooh. 
Yeah, okay. Um, the bad shit you threw, you know, the whole adage of monkeys throw their poop at each other or at anybody else. Um, and worst kaiju comeback since Pacific Rim 2. Pacific Rim, great kaiju movie, lots of giant robots punching monsters, the exact kind of thing you want to see. Great Guillermo del Toro movie. The sequel, Guillermo was not involved and um, is lacking is the best thing that I can say about it, um, as far as comparisons to the first movie. Um, so yeah, it was a big disappointment over the first movie. People were anticipating a sequel, excited for it, and it definitely did not deliver. Um, yeah, good. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know Send in Manila. I don't I don't understand that one. But you couldn't measure up to the Shin of Godzilla. Shin Godzilla is a Toho, a, a Japanese Godzilla movie that came out recently. Very highly rated. Um, really, really, not connected to the MonsterVerse. It's a Japanese Godzilla movie. Um, also, meaning you couldn't measure up not only to that highly rated movie, but also to Godzilla's Shin. The Shin, part of the leg couldn't measure up to the Shin of Godzilla. Not just Shin Godzilla, the Shin of Godzilla, meaning you couldn't measure up to, pat, you know, before my knee. Because um, the Shin is the part below the knee. Um, so, yeah. Can't measure up, you're not, you know, as big as me on that. Yeah. In both meanings. You get what I'm saying. Stick to tongue wrestling T Rexes and sea snakes. He ate them and bit on them in Skull Island. Yeah. <laughs> Such a joke, Jack Black's in your remake. Yeah, Jack Black playing a, a more serious role as the director in the God's in the King Kong remake by Peter Jackson. Um, he's the one who says the line "Twas beauty killed the beast" in the remake version. This is, uh, using the spelling here before the line is said, I'm seeing it preemptively, yes, I know. Uh, tighten your fish lips. Titan. Um, they call the kaiju in the Godzilla movies Titans. But much like Megamind, using the different spelling and meaning to tighten, T-I-G-H-T-E-N, to make more tight, to tighten. Um, to tighten your lips, not just as a titan, but titan. In Megamind, um, uh, the Jonah Hill character names himself Titan, because uh, thinking meaning T-I-G-H-T-N, but not T-I-T-A-N. Similes. Tighten your fish lips around, tenacious game when you're out. <laughs> Going back to the Jack Black line. Um, Jack Black, obviously, in a comedy band called Tenacious D. We've reacted to them here a bunch. Tighten your fish lips around Tenacious D's. As in D's nuts? Alright, yeah, obviously. You don't have to spell it out for you. You guys get it. That's good. A rap god, pray to me. Rap god, Zilla. Eminem's rap god, pray to you pray to a god, you ain't a rap god, pray to me. Alright. And you were a metaphor for nuclear war, but Hollywood they left your ball on the party room floor. And then <laughs> Yeah, okay. Nineties didn't make you any cooler. The kind of pumpy tongue gets pumped by Ferris Bueller. Matthew Broderick is in the nineties Godzilla. I said earlier. The less said about the nineties Godzilla the better. Gets punked by Matthew by by Ferris Bueller. Yeah, that's what I was referencing. They're referencing a lot of the different uh, Godzilla movies and King Kong movies here. Okay, that is probably the fiercest bar in this whole battle so far. Um, go ahead and glow blue, because in the trailer for the new movie, Godzilla is glowing blue. Actually, glows pink in the new one. In the previous movie, he's glowed blue when the he's charging up his energy to you know shoot a giant blue beam out of his mouth. Um, you're going to code blue, meaning die from lack of oxygen. Uh, I'm taking all your oxygen, and now you're O2. Oxygen, the 
the chemical um, uh, makeup of oxygen is O2. Um, but also saying that your O2, meaning your zero wins, two losses. Your O for two. Two. You've had you've had two two chances here, two verses, and you're O for two on those two verses. You haven't won either of them, according to Kong. Um, that's a great bar. That's a great bar. You couldn't fathom from the 20,000 fathoms, meaning you couldn't uh, even conceive of it. And of course, fathoms also being below sea level. Yes, um, that's great. <laughs> uh, Iron Man and Thor still destroy you. I don't know why. Well, Iron Man and Thor's uh, box office still was more than the current Godzilla movies, but I guess if you look at all of their movies combined versus the Godzilla movies combined, maybe it's comparable? I don't know. The Marvel movies have made over a billion dollars, so it's it's hard to say. But uh, the the last part of that, in triplets like Ghidorah, Ghidorah has the three heads, so in triplets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, S turn Skull, I Skull Island to Pompeii. Pompeii uh, historically was the island that the giant volcanic eruption happened and everybody was turned to ash and a lot of the bodies are encased in ash and, and stay that way because they were covered with lava. Uh, saying, so he's saying he's going to destroy S Skull Island much the same way with the volcanic eruption of his fire versus... <laughs> Spit the verse, spitting out hot flame, like lava. <laughs> the saddest death <laughs> of a gorilla since Harambe. I don't need to explain that one. You're on the internet. Dick Setter for Harambe. All right. Okay, take it back here. You make weak tokusatsu. Um, the tokusatsu shows are like your 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 shows that fight giant kaiju. You have the characters that get into the giant mechs and fight giant creatures. Your most known tokusatsu show is is your your Power Rangers show, or the thing that you know the, the Super Sentai shows that Power Rangers borrowed from but you know your your common riders and your ultramans those are your tokusatsu your other tokusatsu style shows um and so to have you know this compared to that obviously is because giant monsters fighting things yes <laughs> that's a kaiju haiku all right uh, i'm not going to count the syllables in that but i'll take your word for it yeah, uh, the Mechanicong. I see the the Mecha Godzilla. I don't remember Mechanicong, um, but also not super familiar with a lot of the older Kong and Godzilla movies. Mothra fucker, ugly Mothra fucker. Instead of motherfucker, Mothra um, implied that uh, I mean, not maybe not in all of them, but but that uh, Godzilla loves Mothra in some of the newer MonsterVerse movies. Uh, I don't understand the balloons thing, um, but that's all of this. The ninety-eight, the 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 anime, um, the only Godzilla anime I know of, I think was based on the ninety-eight. Cart, uh, live action US version something like that I don't know I know there was a cartoon based on the Matthew Broderick movie and that's I think what they're referencing here but I could be wrong I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments how wrong I am um, but yeah <laughs> alright that's referencing the fact that the suits now are CG uh, In back in the day the Godzilla was 
just somebody in a costume. A giant rubber costume smashing a tiny city. That's how they did it back in the day, because didn't have CG back in the day. Ain't hearing no monster verse. I'm not hearing the monster verse. I've been saying is the name of the the universe that the new Godzilla monster, Godzilla and Kong monster movies are taking place in. But a monster verse, a powerful verse in the song. <laughs> Apex Great Ape Great with the Ape Axe He does get an ape axe in uh, the last movie and probably uses it in this one again All Monsters Attack There's there's several Monsters Attack games and movies and that reference kind of like versions of these characters and stuff, so... Recycled crap, yeah. Alpha Gorilla won't be bringing no silver back. This Alpha Gorilla won't be bringing no silver back. Not just meaning bringing money back um, to you, because you don't deserve it, Godzilla. But also a silverback monkey is a type of monkey. Silverback, silverback Gorilla is a type of gorilla, I should say. Um, yes. <laughs> Okay, that's a good bar to end on. Like Brian Cranston, you've been dead since the first act in the first U.S. Godzilla movie. It was marketed as being, you know, having Brian Cranston in it, uh, and he dies in the beginning of the movie, in the first act, uh, and then it focuses on his son, played by I cannot remember the name of the actor, but he played um, he played Quicksilver in the Marvel movies, not the X-Men movies, but the Marvel movies. Um, in the MCU. Uh, yeah. Actually, um, that's funny, because in the MCU, it's him and uh, Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. They play brother and sister in the Marvel movies. In the Godzilla movie, they play a husband and wife. That's not weird. That's just acting. Anyway. There they are doing the dances in the mocap suits as we pull out here. Yeah, I was right as to who played who. Um, as far as who won, uh, it wasn't a great battle. It was, yeah, um, it definitely wasn't my favorite one. Had some good lines in it. I think for me, Kong won. Um, y your your mileage may vary. You may think differently. That's just that's just how I feel on it. Lots of thanks for the suits and the Discord and all that good stuff and the Patreon. Oh, and ERB is performing live in California and the UK and then back to Tampa Bay for Comic Con. That's great. That's great. That's awesome. Looking forward to more ERB. Wish uh, they were coming near where I am, but, uh, you know, maybe they will later. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see this video without me yammering all over it, of course, link is in the description below. Go show ERB some love. If you did like this, of course, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out like these folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, I just released a new song, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye. Today, I will use the bidet, I will find a way to use the bidet. I'll go get Taco Bell with all the fire sauce, then work out of the gym and do 30 squats. Eat a whole lot of cheese cause my intolerance will force me to use this chamber pot from front, yeah.